Hi everyone, I'm very much looking forward to the big race on Wednesday, which is day two of the Qatar Goodwood Festival. It is the Qatar Sussex Stakes. It's run over a mile, some of the best milers, including the very best miler, assembled. We're going to go through them one by one in number order. And starting with the best of them, that is Baid, the unbeaten champion. He's eight from eight so far. He won at this meeting last year, albeit in lower grade, with style, with swagger, with panache. He's the top rated turf horse around. And on all known form, Baid is very much the one to be. That is number one. Number two, that horse is Bafrat Leon. We've got a Japanese raider. Three years after, of course, Japan scooped Group 1 glory at Goodwood with Deirdre winning the Nassau Stakes. Now, it's an unconventional route for this horse. Uh, Bafrat Leon, who was last seen running on the dirt at Maidan, winning the Godolphin Mile. So from the dirt in Dubai, it's now the turf in Sussex. Number three is Chindix, last time out winner of the Summer Mile at Asuka. He's a very good horse at his level, as we've seen on a couple of occasions this year. But on all known form, he will struggle against Baid. He is 13 lengths down uh, and the two meetings with Baid they've met this year. So Chindix, all to do, number three. Number four is Order of Australia, who ran in this race last year. The Breeders' Cup champion of two seasons ago made its back-to-back -back wins in the Minstrel Stakes at the Curra last time. Uh, Baid, though, has had his measure on the two occasions they've met. It's that theme again. Baid has beaten a fair few of these. He shapes the race from the front, so do look out for number four, Order of Australia. Number five is Alcohol Free, the outstanding race filly who has scooped Group 1 glory at two, three and now four. She was last time out the winner of the July Cup when dropped in trip to the six furlongs. She won this race last year and if she were to win it again, she'd join only Frankel as a dual winner of the Sussex Stakes. The outstanding Alcohol Free is number five. Number six is Angel Blur, who at the back end of his two-year-old year was a Group 1 winner. He also won the Vintage Stakes, a group race for the two-year-olds at Glorious Goodwood last year. But he's got plenty to do based on that last time out run when seen down the field in the St James's Palace at Royal Ascot. And number seven, last but by no means least, is Modern Games. It was meant to be Caribus and a much vaunted stable mate. He's met with a setback, so step forward Modern Games, who's already a top level winner around the world, winning at the Breeders' Cup, winning the French Guineas first up this season. He's got plenty to do to beat Baid, of course, but he now looks for Group One glory in Britain. So that is a look at all seven runners in the Sussex Stakes.